able to be with someone that teaches you how to love yourself. Any change that anybody did not do before marrying you, don't yes. expect that. When I stop going to school, I cry. Just tell me, blind boy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining me today on Deep Waters with Deborah Waters. Indeed, it's another beautiful day right here on the show. We're starting the week on a very high note. My name is Deborah Waters, and we're streaming to you live on radio and TV at Radium 93.7 FM and Silverbed News 24, which you can watch on Star Times Channel 109. Or simply just go on YouTube, search for Silverbed N24. Um, yeah, and click the live button to watch us live, to watch me live today on the show. As always on Deep Waters, we love to shake the waters on deep conversations, deep issues, topical issues, controversial areas, and simply topics that will just help us change our perspective about life. We love to hear perspectives from our listeners and viewers, and we end the show hearing a special opinion from our special guest, who is most likely always a coach. Today is an exception. We're talking about the topic destiny, destiny, fate or free will, fate versus free will. I remember growing up, my mother always told me that whatever happens, you know, happens for the best, that everything is in the hands of God. Everything happens for a reason. Uh, you hear things like in Yoruba, ah, kadarani, like it's destiny. It has been destined to happen, so just let it go. This is destiny. But the question is, as I grew up, I'm starting to ask questions like, okay, what is destiny? Let's understand destiny. Destiny or fate is something which is bound to happen, something which is inevitable, something that you cannot avert, something that must take place, something that has to take place. I like to think that that's what destiny is. And what is free will? Free will is when you have the power to respond and to choose your behavior or actions in order to control your own environment and make certain decisions based on your life. It means that free will means you're taking charge of your own life. Well, that's my own definition. Our coach will be coming in early next, um, soon, would we'll also share his own definition of that. And I'm sure we all also have our own special definitions of destiny and free will. Is destiny a myth or a reality? Do you believe in destiny? Do you think it really exists? Or do you feel it's just a concept that people have created to, you know, feel like, oh, because we can't control, really control what happens. Is our way of saying, oh, this is comfort. Let's just say these things, you know, to, to feel like we are not really in control. There is a higher power in control let's say for example someone somebody got murdered and all that you hear things like oh it has been destined to happen what will be will be god allowed it and so we should tone our, our, our anger or our reaction just because it is destiny are we the ultimate commander of our lives or is there a force controlling whatever we do is there some things that must happen because it has been destined to happen or are we the owner are we the chief and commander of our lives or is do our actions really you know create our reactions or create our world basically this is the question we're asking today on the show do you believe in destiny does destiny really exist Feel free to be a part of the conversation. Call in on 0705-993-6937 or 0705-993-7937. I'm opening the phone lines. I want to hear from you, my listeners and viewers today. What are your thoughts on destiny? Do you believe that destiny really, really exists? Let me hear from you. Hello. Hello. Good, good evening. Good evening. Thanks for calling. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Ikena. I'm on. Um, I'm in Lekki Phase One. Ikena from where? Lekki Phase One. Oh, okay. Hi, Ikena from Lekki. You're not far from us now. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, um, um I've listened to the topic on hand. Um, it's complicated. You understand? Not exist in itself. You know, and there are different things that we are. We have been taught or meant to believe that also contradict some of these things. 
you understand? All both religions, um, Islam and Christianity, tells you that okay, God is in charge of everything. God has planned everything. God's plan is for us is of good and not of evil. Mm. But bad things happen to good people. True. You, you, you understand me? You understand me? And yes. So how do you reconcile this? And my father would tell you that if you don't read your book, no amount of prayer can make you pass an exam. And it's true. Mm -hmm. So if God has destined you to pass and you don't make some of your own inputs into it, God doesn't do natural things. God only does supernatural things. He has created you in his own image, giving you some power. To be able to determine some things and do some of the natural parts, then he comes in to bless uh, the supernatural as in need of whatever plan he has. So while we believe that, okay, some things are destined to happen, there is also that, I believe there is also that element of free will that wants to drop in by you to make that other plan. If everybody who woke up on the Monday morning and you are going to you, you you are sleeping as mothers are going to work or going to school as kids may be, you don't expect to be, to be seen successful as they are because oh you believe you have been told or you you have faith that it's your destiny to be successful. Or the Bible has said that God's plan for you is of good and for you to be successful and blah blah blah. You know, so uh, while I I I agree the idea that there is some supernatural um, arrangement that has been done there by our creator or and otherwise, I also subscribe to the fact that as humans, we must put in our own input to make everything work together. Interesting, Ikena. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. Although I don't quite agree with your, your opinions, <laughs> because I feel like if we have to put our... We have, we have the power to to do our uh, make decisions by ourselves and all that you know your question your for you now your answer is like you're sitting in the on the fence i'm saying there are some things that are destined there are some things that I'm, I'm saying, I'm you know saying, i'm saying uh, i'm saying even if it's not a system itself if you say it's your free will that you can decide that you can make anything happen there are a lot of things that you can never make happen no matter how much you like what you you can make like it what pardon me like what if, if you like what can't you make happen? Like it's just like we churn in and churn out. If you work hard, you're okay, going okay. to get successful. If, if you if, plant if, a seed, if, the seed will grow. So if you plant a seed, the seed will grow, yes. And is the seed growing itself? It's just like okay, if you get married now, can you say yes you must have a child? You can't. And but if you do what you need the need for, if you do IVF, if you have copulation with your your woman, you are most no, likely to there are people that have done everything you have listed and they have not successfully had a child. So what are you saying? That they are not destined to have a child because of that? There's something. There could, be, there could be other factors. The supernatural, the supernatural and your own and your own effort, they play in hand in hand. Hmm. One is totally independent of the other. God cannot come down into the earth and do some things. He doesn't do that. Interesting. You also cannot go up there and influence some things that can only be influenced at that level as well. Interesting. You can understand. Yes, I do understand. Thanks for sharing your thoughts, though. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Yes. This is Deep Waters with Deborah Waters, and we're asking a big question of this, on the show. Does destiny really exist? Is destiny a myth or reality? My, uh, my caller, a um, calling guest, Ikena, just shared that there are some things that are destined to happen and there are some things that are out of our free will. And I just feel like that's such an easy answer because that's what everybody will go for. Because we cannot understand some things, we just say, oh, there are some things that uh, we they are destined. There are some things that we have to do on our own. Like, why can't we pick a, a, a part? What about people who don't believe in destiny and so far they've been creating their own destiny? What do we have to say about that? If, Like I said before, if you plant a seed, the seed will go. If you water it well, the seed will go. If the weather and everything comes to play in everything, the seed, it will grow. So what is this concept of destiny? Oh, it has been destined to happen. If somebody does a wrong thing, somebody dies and, oh, forgive him. This is it's, it's meant to happen. That's why. Let it go. Why should we let it go? Why, why are we putting the blame on this, in quotes, supernatural force, you know, that we don't even understand? It's, it, for me, it feels like because we don't understand some things, it's easy for us to just say, oh, 
it's destiny. Oh, it's meant to be. I want to hear your thoughts, though, on this topic. Fate versus free will. What is destiny itself? Is destiny, can you create your own destiny? Can a destiny be truncated? Can a destiny be changed? Can, are you your own destiny? Is it based on what you do? Is it based on, or on what you give that you will get? Can you create your own destiny? Or there's a supernatural force that has said, no matter what you do, this is what is meant to happen. Because it's meant to happen, it will happen. I really want to hear your thoughts on this topic, my listeners and viewers. Feel free, call in on the topic 0705-993-6937 or 0705-993-7937. Is destiny a myth or reality? Are things are there things that have been destined to happen for reals? Or are things that just we create our future? You hear some people who are even free thinkers come to you and tell you, oh, I don't believe in destiny. I'm living my life. And they're doing successfully well. In fact, when you check, they're one of the wealthiest people in the world. What do you have to say about that? I'll take another caller. Hello. Hello. The number to call is 0705-993-6937 or 0705-993-7937. Some people will argue that destiny is merely a myth. Like some people will say, I don't know, I, I like to feel like I'm also of the food of, food of thoughts, that it's a myth. <laughs> if you feel that it's not a myth, call in and share your thoughts like EK now. I feel like it's a myth. I think it's something that we've designed for ourselves to say, oh, people should accept it because it gives us a kind of comfort. And, you know, it feels like those are unanswered questions. It's easy to just say, oh, it's destiny. It has been destined to happen. happen. It's, it's, it's such an easy answer. So I want to hear from you. Hello? Hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Thanks for calling. What's your name? Samuel. Samuel from Suri Liri. Thank you for calling, Samuel. Yes, um, you need to speak louder, please, Samuel, so I can hear you. I said you're talking about destiny. Yes, please. Like one destiny. Yes. In a bit like, it's kind of like profound. The way you get to the name when you're given birth to because with a, a certain point whereby you realize that that is the name people are calling you. That is the name um, your parents are calling you. I don't know if you're getting it. I didn't get you correctly. You said something about names? Yes, like, um, destiny is kind of like something that is being attached to you supernaturally. There's no way for you to change it. It is going to happen. It's just like somebody who is giving talent of students you know that this is your destiny you don't need to worry about it you already know in this way you are good in this way nobody forces you to do it naturally you are so good in doing it and naturally you have to know in that realm that that is your destiny and whatever you do in that in that aspect it actually work fine for you Samuel, so I have you I, 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 that you need to Okay, go ahead. Am I contradicting the whole thing? No, no, no. You're speaking your opinion, your thoughts on the topic. But I want to know... I, opinion. Yes. So your opinion I is that... Personally. Yes, personally. Your own personal opinion. So do, 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 do you know what your destiny is? Have you discovered your destiny? Or have they told you your destiny? They told me, but I was still trying to like figure out that. Who told you? What did they tell you and who told you? I actually... There was a place I was working before. Okay. And probably I was I was actually singing and person of the issue. Just talk and I was like, ah, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be working here. That's a random stranger, right? Yeah, it's it's a thing that totally stranger. I don't know before. He just came and was like, there's nothing you will do and you will think um success to the thing that you're doing here. I don't know. I don't know you before, but go and sing for that is your way. Go and look yeah. for what? I like that, that, that. You can just go to the ministry or just one thing. You know, you just like that is your destiny. Don't do any other thing. Just focus on that aspect. That's what the ministry. That's most times, uh, yes. Okay. That's why most times our parents they fail to understand what their children really want. That is their destiny. It's a bond thing. You can't change it. So you can do whatever I told them to learn and whatever they want to do. But if you don't come in, if you don't um bring down that thing, you really know that thing the God has brought them in for. You you will be leading them and 
Hmm. So now, are you a minister now? Hello? Hello? Are you a minister now? Are you a minister? Calling in that aspect. You know, I'm not into the music aspect, but I'm still in the gospel aspect. Hmm. So you are still in line with yes, your I destiny? Yes. Hmm. yes. So everything that is drawing me away from that destiny, I see that I don't. I didn't get that. And, um, anything that I'm doing is outside of that line. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything from it. I really, uh, you don't I see anything it. successful. You don't succeed. Yeah. So it's like, I will now go back and still sit down and say, ah, it's like this one that you are telling me. <laughs> Oh my God, did I just lost that call? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, should I say Pastor Samuel or Prophet Samuel has also spoken right now? Well, mm, okay, that's, that's a real life story there, a real life experience. I don't know what to say about that because it's his own truth, but I want to hear your thoughts on what he just said about discovering his destiny. He said a random stranger walks up to him and say, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be doing this. You're supposed to be a minister. You're supposed to be working in the gospel of, you know, of God. So and he has discovered that over time, anything he does, he doesn't succeed at it until he goes back to the ministry. And so he's in line with the ministry. Again, that is his own truth and his own, in quote, destiny. What are your thoughts? Be, feel free be a part of the conversation. Call in on 0705-993-6937. Or 0705-993-7937. So what happens if no stranger walks up to you, like in the case of Samuel, to ask you that or to tell you that this is your destiny? What if I never discover my destiny in my lifetime? What if nobody ever walks up to me and tell me this is my destiny? What Does that mean that I'm going to live a life that is destinyless? If there's a word like that, permit me. <laughs> Does that mean I'm going to be living a life that has no destiny? And what are the effects of living a life that has no destiny? I'm going to take one more caller before my special guest joins me on the show. Hello? Hello? The number to call is 0705-993-6937 or 0705-993-7937. Nine nine three seven nine three seven. On that note, we're going to quick break right now. We're talking about everything: destiny, fate, and free will. Are, are we really the custodian of our lives? Are we really the one who control our lives by our actions? You know, our lives are they just a bunch of actions and decisions that are meant by us, or are they just some things that has been? No matter what action that you do, some things that have been destined to happen. I hope it's the person who called before. Hello. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Thanks for joining. Thanks for jo joining the show. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, you are breaking, honestly. I can't really hear you. All right. Uh, I'll go on a break right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is Deep Waters with Deborah Waters, and indeed, we're right in the middle of the deep. And when I go on this break, I come back. I'm coming back to take more calls from you. And my special guest in the studio is on standby all the way from the United States. Best-selling author, public speaker, strategist, and so much more. you hear more about him after this break. Stay tuned. This is Deep Waters. Don't go anywhere. Don't throw stones in a glass house. No nation or people can achieve greatness using violence. And when we do violence or do acts of violence, it kills the other person before you act. Always remember that violence is the last refuge of the incompetent. Peace cannot be achieved through violence. According to the late great Nelson Mandela, great anger and violence cannot build a nation. So many of us have forgotten the importance of unity in achieving the greater Nigeria. Ask yourself before you make any decision, will you bring about love 
We need to spread peace and unity. I want to bring about the progress of your community. There cannot be enough explanation to justify violent acts. We should not respond to violence with violence, but rather with peace and love. Keep the peace. Stop the violence. This is a message from the Silverbird Group. Silverbird Television will now be found on channel 121 on GoTV. Yes, that's right, we're swapping channel numbers. So, if you use a GoTV decoder, don't forget to scan channel 121 and keep it locked on Silverbird Television. If you own a DSTV decoder, then not to worry because Silverbird Television still remains on channel 252 on DSTV. Whatever decoder you use, you're still guaranteed the best news, sports, music, drama, and general entertainment shows. Silverbird Television, it's about entertainment. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Deep Waters with Deborah Waters, and indeed, we're right in the middle of the deep. What can happen when you are in deep waters? It's either you float or you drown, but quite fortunately for us, people don't drown in these deep waters. <laughs> we float because there's always somebody here to guide us, you know, to give us a life jacket, to save us, just like Titanic to pull a hand of love towards us so that we can understand and not drown but float. Today I have a special guest joining me on the show and let me just refresh you on the topic for the day. We're talking about destiny, fate versus free will. Does destiny really exist? Is there really anything like Kadara? Kadara in Yoruba means destiny. Is there really anything like that? You know, when people say, oh, they've given birth to a child. Let's go and check what the destiny, what is this child going to be? Where is the path that this child is going to go? What is this child going to become? Who, who is going to, this child going to marry? Even it goes down to when people get married these days, they go to seek or to consult from the spiritual realm to find out, who am I destined to be with? And I beg to differ. Do, does destiny really exist? Are we the commander in chief of our lives? Does action and reaction just lead, you know, lead to the events that what to lead to what we eventually become? Or is there something that, or is there a supernatural force that no matter how hard we try or no matter how much where we go, this must be what will be will be you hear things like that oh it was destined to happen it was predestined to happen do you believe in destiny or not well this is a judgment free zone so feel free to call and let's hear your thoughts whether you do or whether you don't personally i don't know maybe at the end of the show i would believe that destiny happens but i also feel like personally i believe in free will but hey <laughs> we have a coach joining us in a bit to shed more light on this to be a part of the conversation, call in on 0705-993-6937 or 0705-993-7937. My special guest on the show today is from Atlanta, United States. He's a best-selling author, a public speaker, a strategist, the president of Cornerstone Christian University, Alfredo Georgia. 
He has featured on so many, you know, communications network. I can't even start to mention so that it doesn't be like an advert. John Ugulu, Dr. John Ugulu has helped or still helps leaders to identify and eliminate limiting beliefs. He has helped, you know, people form a clearer and more realistic version of their future. He, has, he listens to complaints, uh, concerns, and challenges, and acts as a non-judgmental sounding board for these ideas. And I, I can't wait to have him because it gives me the vibe that he's someone who is going to give us a non-judgmental, you know, opinion and an expert opinion on the topic for today, which is destiny. Is it fate? Of free will. Ladies and gentlemen, I have with me, joining me all the way from the United States, on Zoom is Dr. John Ugulu. Hello, doctor. Hello, Deborah. How are you? I'm well. Can I can hear you loud and clear, and I'm so excited. I, I love the way you... Is this how you guys greet from uh, the United States? The, 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 the voice is so welcoming, you know? Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you sound exactly like you sound in your videos on social media. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how I sound. That's, it's, that's, uh, it's, innate. It's, uh, it's beautiful. It's refreshing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dan. Yes. So, so far, you, you've been with us on the show, and you've heard thoughts and opinion, and we're talking about destiny, if it really exists, if it's, uh, is it a myth, is it reality? What are your thoughts on the topic? Thank you very much. Thank you so, so much. regarding your topic, it's a, it's a very interesting topic. Mm -hmm. You know, um, understanding destiny. Um, as, as a coach and a teacher that I am, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you are 100 percent sure of what a word means, then it becomes easier for you to apply it. It becomes easier for you to know what it's talking about. So we're talking about destiny. You're asking if I believe in destiny or free will. So when we talk about destiny, let, let me just um, give you a definition that I, I took out of uh, the Google Dictionary. It says um, destiny is an event that will necessarily happen particular person or thing in the future. Underline the word necessarily happen. And when we talk about fate, we're talking about the development of events beyond a person's control. Hmm. Regarded as determined by supernatural power. Hmm. Then now we're talking about will again, free will, which is willpower. So in life, into this world on purpose, with a purpose, and for a purpose, right? So the moment we realize that out of millions of sperms, research has proven that only one sperm cell fertilizes an egg to form a fetus, a human being. Mm -hmm. So which means for human life to be alive today, millions of sperm cells had to compete, hmm. but only one was chosen, and that one was the special one out of millions. That one sperm is the one that produced you, the one that brought me into this world. So, which means we were sent into this world on purpose, with a purpose, and for a purpose. So, when we're talking about destiny, we all need to understand that our future is God's past. Hmm.
Okay. Okay, now that that's uh, thank you for all the definitions. But now it brings me now to you said, okay, we have a purpose in this world, you know, we have, we've been destined in quotes. I don't know if I should use the word destined now because we have several, your definition now stands out. So, okay, we have a purpose in this world. And now you're saying we can also create our own, you know, future, literally. So, where, where are you, what, what are you saying in essence that we can, we, we have both destiny and free will? Or we have free will, or we have destiny. Okay, great. So initially, we have that destiny, right, that we can create. When we got into this world, God already gave us in the gates, unlimited potentials, right? But at the end of the day, we all need to first of all understand who we are. So when 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 man was born, God gave man everything. It is our duty to discover that greatness inside of us. We need to first of all understand who we are, where we're from, why we're on earth, what we can do, and where we're going. It's based on all these, the answers to these questions that we can actually create our future. So at the end of the day, we as humans, we have that free will naturally. Because God gave us a free Let's go to the and on Right? So it's up to you to decide if you want to discover what your gift is. <laughs> okay. It's up to you to decide. So, so it's up to you to decide if you want to pursue your destiny in quotes. So you have exactly. you, uh, you you have the destiny, you know. And you and some people might never know their destiny, you know, or discover that's it. That that's another one. That's uh, we're gonna to come to that. But you we, what you're saying is that we all have, you know, that destiny. But we also have to, you know, act on it, we basically. We have free will to decide if we would actually go and pursue that destiny or, or not. Or not. Hmm, interesting. If, wow. If you sit down and wait for it to happen, nothing will happen. Really? Will happen. But I thought it was destiny, no. though. So if it's destiny, shouldn't it still happen irrespective of what we do and how we act? Why, why, why is it that some people, like in the case of Samba who called, you, you, no matter what he tried to do, he didn't succeed except back to the gospel that he feels that he's been destined to. So if we are churning out our actions in, in quotes, the wrong directions, so it, does that mean that... Now, yeah, so we were created to do four things on earth. Our assignment, our major assignment on earth are to serve, Right? So, if whatever you are doing does not lead to any of these four, it means you're going to struggle. It means you're going to struggle. It's your duty to discover that destiny, that thing that God has put inside of you that will lead you to serving, to becoming a leader, and whatever you're good at, influencing people positively, and leaving a long-lasting impact. Just like Samuel. He said, he, whenever he does anything that is not ministry related, and we all know ministry has to do with you serving, leading, influencing, and impacting people positively, mm -hmm. he realizes that he would still be going back or struggling or, you know, finding things challenging. That's what it's all about. We were sent into this world to do those four things. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. It doesn't matter what it is you are doing, but for as long as it major assignments on earth that's 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 how it is so if you are not doing that you will continuously struggle look at the people who are wealthy today all they do is they serve their gifts right whatever talents they have they serve it to the world and people accept it they lead they become leaders in that field or in that area they become influencers positive influencers in that area that they are dominating and eventually they leave a long-lasting impact. So, at some point, it's not everybody who will discover their gift. That's where, if you rely on destiny, that's where it becomes a problem. Some people 
it will take them a while, it will take them years, months to discover their gift. Some will never ever discover their gift. But the moment anybody discovers their gift, that's when they are living their true destiny, their true purpose. Because that gift would require them to serve, to lead, to influence people positively, and to leave a long-lasting impact that would have lived them even after they've completed their assignment here on earth. So what happens when you don't discover your destiny? Then what does, what does that mean? Does that mean that your life yeah. would be... Because I've seen people, I've asked people who don't even know what their destiny is, but they have family, they yes. have kids, they are philanthropists, they are living their best life, they are traveling around the world. So what does that mean? Does that mean that their life is, what, useless or destinyless? Or what happens in that case? No. First of all, when we're talking about destiny, we're talking about fulfilling your purpose on earth, hmm. which is to serve, to lead. To influence and to impact but, lives, but, but, to but leave an impact. Yes, yeah, sorry to cut you, Doctor John. But have, have you not heard terms like, "Oh, we 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 do so many, we we have so many like purposes." They'll tell you you have a purpose in terms of family. You know, we know that every every maybe most let me not say every most women out there have been destined in quotes to pro reproduce. You know, to nurture. You know, that's some of some giving that it doesn't have to be like, oh, you have to discover. There are some givings, do you understand, about, right. you know, reality. Right. Some women, men have been, in quote, destined to protect and to provide, you know. What, what is the, where is the part of discovering that? Because now you're talking about destiny as in you have to find that particular, you know, one thing. What about you if you want to just fulfill your destiny in terms of, you know, the general destiny, you know, which is I have been called as a woman to pr reproduce, to to be a wife, to be a mother, you know, as a man, I've been called to protect and provide, you know, and to, you know, so what are your thoughts on that? Okay, Dr. John, are you still there? All right, I think we lost Dr. John. We have to so we have to sort out that technical issue right there. But guys, you've been listening to this conversation so far. Destiny is the fate of free will. And Dr. John, all the way from the United States, has been you know sharing his thoughts on the topic. Also, what are your thoughts? What do you think about destiny? Do you believe in destiny? Do you believe in what you know Dr. John so far has been saying about destiny? discovering that one thing and he says you also have the free will to to pursue it or not to pursue it some people will never discover their destiny in life is it true have you discovered your destiny or are you still trying to discover your destiny call in on 0705-993-6937 or 0705-993-7937 i saw calls coming earlier on but i just had to let my coach you know, share his thoughts and learn before I take more calls. So, yeah, this is the time for you to call. Let's go. Hello. Uh, yeah, good evening. Thank How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. How are you today? What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Enzo. I'm calling from Lekki. Ezra from Lekki. Thanks for Enzo, calling. Enzo, 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 Enzo. Enzo, 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 Enzo. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for calling, yeah, Enzo. Yes. Laughing out loud. Oh, really? Laughing. Why? Nigerians are just so damn religious. I, I, what is destiny? What is destiny? Uh, it has been destiny. God has destiny. I'm going to blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> this is just religious stuff to, to keep people in perpetual bondage. <laughs> it's nothing like destiny. It's so, what, go out there, do your thing. Whatever comes to you, find and good. You give credit to people around you mm. and their work. We need to start raising people who believe in work-based society now, this destiny and prayer-based society. <laughs> if you look around the world, prayer-based societies don't make progress. They're one of the backward uh, nations we have in the world. Hmm. Destiny. Yeah, God has destiny and going to be a driver. God has destiny and <laughs> going to give birth to a male child. The only thing that will make you give birth to a mixed child is XY chromosome. Without those XY chromosomes, you can't have a child. <laughs> If you're important, no more. If you have sex, if you have X from now to from January the first to December thirty first, if you are not, if, if you have low back and you can never produce if there's no destiny on your side. You need to we need to you need to produce X for the men, X Y comes out for the women, X X comes to produce kids. There's nothing like destiny throughout time. There's nothing like destiny you're going to you're going to walk in show. 
they did the, you know, I'm not a religious person, though. Somebody went to church and the pastor said, somebody here is dead, you have sent him to be the manager of Shell. Do you know, an 80 year old man, he doesn't have no qualification, was saying, amen, amen, amen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Like, you have run a long way to go. How do we make progress with the kind of outdated mentality? Men go out there, walk, drink. And achieve your goals. Don't sit down there and say, God has destined you, you are going to be a mechanic. If you win an election, after that, you go and say, you've been destined to be the governor of a state. Like, seriously, have you had people in both Canada countries? Kids over there don't discuss, they don't have the kind of conversation. But you find educated people who keep well exposed telling you there's something like destiny. Like, you know? So, Enzo, I, I thank you for sharing your thoughts. I appreciate your thank thoughts. You. But, 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 but what are your thoughts on, you, you, what about talent? What about, you know, talent? Uh, you know, you hear people that, oh, you have to discover your talent and your God-given talent. Do you okay, believe in like that? God-given talent. It's human being talent. You, have to, you, don't, you don't sit, you know what, you know how to do, you know how to do best. Like in sinner society, take for instance, if you know how to, if you know how to clap your hands, the government will support you, you the sponsor, you go to the, you know, and, it, and the competition, and we go. There's something like God given talent. Everything is about human beings. Mm -hmm. Which one is God given talent? Don't go there, they know what they know how to do best. Use it to make money. Like Cora, who knows how to dance, she's using her talent to make money. You can't tell me to whatever Cora is doing is God, it is God talent. Look at Hilda, she knows how to cook. The, the next level. That is the talent they are solid. So much, Enzo, for sharing Thank your you. thoughts. I appreciate. <laughs> ah, interesting thoughts right there. Interesting. Like Enzo just came and just <laughs> upturned the entire place and said, "No, I don't believe in destiny, and I don't believe in talent. I don't believe in you know cadre. I don't believe in that." But again, it's uh, it's Enzo's opinion, you know, on the topic. My special guest, Dr. Ogulu, has a contrasting opinion. He thinks that. There's destiny and there's free will and that there's uh, there's that thing that everybody has been... So, so the purpose, we all have like a purpose and some people would never discover their purpose. Some people will, but Enzo says otherwise. No, just live your life, you know, discover yourself, you know, put in some work and enjoy yourself. But what are your thoughts? Uh, interesting conversation right there. Join the conversation by calling in on 705-993-6937. Or zero seven zero five nine nine three seven nine three seven. I don't know if our coach is still back and now. Is is the technical issues has it been sorted so that we can, you know, wrap up the show because the show wraps up in a bit. So if you have something to say, feel free to call in now. You know, how much control do we have over our own lives? You know, and destiny. I know Enzo, you're saying, oh, you just do what you do, but we want to. But some people actually feel that comfort, you know, just to know that there's a higher power there, or a supernatural force that feels like, oh, this is what will be, that no matter what you want to do, like this is what you're meant to do, and then you pursue it, and then, you know, it happens. On the other hand, Samuel, who thinks that somebody walks up to him and says his ministry, I also feel like there's a way that you can have it in your head that, oh, I'm meant to be doing this in ministry. And then over and over again, because somebody has said it to you and it's in your subconscious, anything you want to do after, apart from that will not work because you already have it in your subconscious that, oh, this will not work for me. Well, again, what do I know? I'm not a coach, neither am I a minister. I am only Deborah Waters right here on Deep Waters. Sorry, I, tell you, I have to call back again. Sorry, don't be offended. No problem. Let me tell you, the, truth, the fact of the matter is, there's no higher power anywhere that's going to make you achieve your goals. There's no higher power. The only people that will make you achieve your goals are human beings. We need only human effort to achieve our goals. Prayer, the divine blah, 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 can never make you achieve your goals. Hmm. I'll give you two, I'll give you two examples. 
Haven't you seen where you see a Yahoo boy who is doing Yahoo who go to church and give say destiny to do people to make money? You go and give that game to church that they have been destined to do a white man. And people in the best, they don't know. He has duped somebody. You see politicians, they will win election, win election, and they go to church, and people will be saying, oh, God has destined us to be a governor. By rigging election, I don't, I don't know how we reason in this. It's, at times, uh, we need people to start facing, to start and back on reality check. Hmm. I'm a realist. I don't believe there's any supernatural power anywhere that will make me achieve my goals. Nothing. Anything is doing this for was probably done by you and people around you. People are sitting to achieve their goals. If you like to pray for them at the best, them at the best. If you don't work, hunger will kill you. Hunger will kill you. The most <laughs> somebody is the supernatural. This super, this super, super, which of the super. Face reality. We need to face reality and achieve our goals. If something bad happens to you, don't have it and move on. If you achieve your goals, you give credit to people around you and yourself. But Enzo, 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 sorry to cut you, but I, I beg to differ. You, have you always been like this? I, I, I like to think that at some point in your life, you believed in destiny, you believed in the supernatural no, I, power. I, I, I grew up in a society where things work. I grew up in a society where I have, if I have challenges, my father knows where to get solution. My father never paid for us to achieve our goals. That's the kind of society I grew up. Only for me to come to Nigeria, people pray for virtually everything. If, if someone, if someone wants to come to your house and kill people, they'll say it has been, it has been destined to happen that way. Mm -hmm. I'll give another scenario. They said I was traveling to Lagos. I was driving. And a bus ran into a trailer. I stopped by. I was trying to rescue them. And the, the, one, of, one of the men I was trying to rescue said, Oh, thank God. I think if you mention the name of God, I'll dump you here. Because according to Christian Pudo, they were destined to have accidents. Does it even make sense? Does it even make sense? I almost abandoned the body because he said, Thank God, though. You should be thanking me for saving you. Hmm. Not thanking God who is not here. Not thanking the God who did nothing to prevent the accident in the first place. If there's a God anyway, he should have prevented the accident. And not wait for accidents to occur and people will die and people to go and start thanking him. That means the God is no longer powerful. I almost abandoned the person that said, Face reality, otherwise I will abandon you. He kept his mouth shut. I rescued him, took him to the hospital. And I'm 100% sure the next day we we'll go to God and say, God saved him, but others who died were destined to die. Does it even make sense that the God who has supernatural power will sit and watch his kids die, who sits and over to come to the house, rape your mother, rape your father, kill everybody, and people come and tell you it's the will of God? Does it even make sense? Interesting. Now, this one to educate me. Does it make sense? Interesting. Enzo, no, thanks. No, tell me. Then you get me. Does it make sense? That you, if, if people, then people are involved in a ghastly mass accident. It's confirmed dead. Two survive. And they're in church thanking God. And people will say the end that died is the will of God. Does it even make sense? Mm. Interesting. Bye -bye. Thank you so much, Enzo, for sharing your thoughts. Ah, those are big questions right there. Um, Dr. Gulu, are you back with me? Oh, great. You're back with me. Thank you. All right. Did you, did you hear what Enzo said? Did you hear what Enzo said? Great, great. So, yes, yeah, so um, we're wrapping up the show in a few minutes. I want to hear your thoughts on, on because he has raised very valid questions. He has raised very, very well because I'm also questioning, like, yeah, okay, does it actually make sense, you know, that people say things, accidents happen, things happen, and they say it has been destined to happen? Like, it's confusing sometimes. So, but as a professional, please share some thoughts. Talk about. 
you are paid to do, but your calling is what you were born to do. Hmm. You can never retire from your calling because you are deployed to it for life till the end, right? So your destiny, you will have to determine. Now, what do I love doing best? What services can I enjoy? Um, unfortunately, we have to wrap up the show now, Dr. Gulu. But if there's one thing you have to say to Enzo, for someone who believes in free will alone and not destiny, what would you say? Interesting. Interesting. Thank you so much, Dr. Gulu, all the way from the United States, Atlanta, for joining me on the show, Deep Waters with Deborah Waters. Unfortunately, you got disconnected earlier, so we couldn't even take so much. But again, we appreciate your wealth of knowledge, your thoughts and your opinions on the topic. We're definitely going to have you again on the show, by the way. To all my callers and listeners, thank you so much for being a part of the show. Enzo, Samuel, and to all the callers who I cannot even remember their name, thank you for sharing your thoughts and your opinions and for being completely vulnerable with me right here on Deep Waters with Deborah Waters. Again, destiny, free will. We have both, and you have the decision, free will, to actually choose whether to, to combine them or to choose one individually. So do you live your life and live your best life, basically, so that it can help you to serve others and not just yourself. Deep Waters is live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 4.30 p.m. on Monday, 5 p.m. on Wednesday, and 5 p.m. on Friday. So please join us again on Wednesday for another interesting topic on the show. And of course, if you want to watch a repeat of the show, tune in and it's 11 p.m. on DSTV channel 252 to watch the show all over again tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. For myself and Dr. Gulu from United States, <laughs> we say bye-bye. <laughs>